Okay, so Mike, I interrupted. It looks like my son called me and, and we had to talk a little bit about stuff. But, you know, what I find, um, <clears throat> what's upsetting to me is, is that these people did everything they could to, uh, they created a problem, and then they thought it was funny to put the blame on me, and then they wanted to cover up their problem, and then they wanted me to take responsibility for the problem that they wanted to cover up. They literally used me as a scapegoat and mistreated me and abused me to the point of where I am now. Okay, I don't have any compassion for any of these individuals. Now, if I, the only thing that I would say that I'm responsible for is when I first met my husband, I came to this community, I didn't know anybody. So my, I would tell people, and this, is, this has been going on since I was a kid. When I was a young girl, if I met somebody and I wasn't interested in giving them my phone number, I would make up an identity. And I made up an identity um, to my ex-husband when I first got together with him, being the new girl that I was here in this community. I never thought that he and I would get together and end up getting married or anything like that. And I think my family exploited that. Um, but that is not, believe it or not, that is not a crime. Okay, but it is a crime when you try to bully somebody for that. Because if you're basically mistreating me because I am not a half biracial person, then that you're basically executing racist behavior or ab ab I mean, abusing somebody because of racism. Um, that is the it. I mean, that's 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 it. I'm, you know, um, I, there there's probably a lot of people right now who feel as though, oh, well, I think we need to try, you know, we, we might feel bad about what we did, this sort of thing. And if they do, well, then I don't know what else to tell you. I have no interest in seeing any of these people at all. Okay. Um, when it comes to Selena Bruce, I don't know. I think my brother, my brother, Rashawn, who I um, put a restraining order against on, but then I ended up my son like, oh, well, you know, I don't think you should do that. Okay, fine. So anyway, um, I think my brother, Rashawn, had something to do with the Selena girl. Um, I think he wanted to destroy the relationship that I had with my ex-husband, which he did. Um, I don't think the point was to have me gravitate to Bruce because Bruce at the time was already married. And I believe he still is married. Okay, And I never even thought about being together with Bruce. I had forgotten all about Bruce years ago. And I knew that Bruce was married in 2000, uh, I think it was six or so, six or seven, because I remember paying for my son to get his like tuxedo or whatever. Um, you know, I just think these people are very low in character. And I think that they are beyond like more than abusive, like just really bad people, people that I have lost total respect for. I mean, I really don't think I have much respect for them anyway, but at this point, it's like there's just absolutely none. You know, um, I don't know why this was, was so heavy on my mind to talk about this. Um, I will say that, you know, I know in the last few weeks, I have been watching videos on YouTube and I, I get bored. So there's a lot of times I just look up like um, movies that I've never got a chance to look at. Or I know in the last few, last month or so, the Paul Rubens guy from, you know, Pee Wee Herman, he died. So I was looking at some of his old movies and looking at old interviews that he was in. Because believe it or not, I've been a fan of Paul Rubens for a very long time. I think he was a very funny person, very clever, very witty, talented person. And I remember seeing a few videos of some people who've been talking about certain situations on YouTube. And I do believe that they're talking about me. Okay? I believe they're talking about this situation. And it's like... They're bringing up issues that I never, or questions to this side of this, this story that I never even thought of before, but it's very eye-opening, okay? Um, I think that, um, I don't know how, you know, um, these people live with themselves, with, you know, mistreating a person the way that they do. Um, and then creating lies and then, you know, trying to cover it up and then allowing me to um, suffer the consequences for their bad behavior, okay? Um, I don't have any um, respect for it. I don't know about, okay, going back to the Selena girl. The Selena girl, um, she was a lot younger than me, but she was biracial. I believe she was like, a, a, I think she, her family, her mom was from Germany or something like that. And I think that my family used her to um, pit her against me 
Um, I never thought anything of it because I thought, you know, she was so much younger than me. I was never in competition with her, but I know that she wanted to compete against me. She was, she started having this, exhibiting certain behaviors, competitive behaviors, right around 2010. Now, I don't know if this was my ex-brother, my, my blood relation, or was it Bruce who put her up to this? But I wasn't interested in doing it. I was interested in maintaining my position, meaning making sure that I was being able to have a job and hoping that I could work in the same environment that I enjoyed in at first. But it wasn't like that. It was like a total attempt to take me down. Like a total, you know, whatever. So obviously they didn't want me to have uh, a place to go. So they just, I think my family said it made it so that Selena Bruce got together with my ex-husband. And I don't, I believe that they did have a child together. Um, but it is what it is. You know what I mean? People make their beds and they have to lay in it. You know what I mean? This is the choice that they've made. I have no interest in getting to back together with my ex-husband. And I can, and I will tell you why. Um, there is no justification for the sort of mistreatment that I got received from him. Now, I remember telling him the truth about who I was um, I, I don't remember when it was, but it was long before I realized that he was in a relationship with the Selena person. So I, he already knew. So, um, but he made it that choice. He made that choice. And I believe it was because people were, um, I think Selena was trying to pretend or trying to, to project an image of herself, trying to make herself better than me. And sometimes, you know, at first glance, because people think, oh, this person's, you know, they're biracial, they're half white. Therefore, this person it, it automatically makes this person better. Not necessarily so. Which perhaps maybe he might be finding that out now. I don't care. Okay. It is very traumatizing for somebody to do something like this to another person. And this was a huge um, operation that created so many problems. So many, like, just, like, I can't even believe somebody would do something like this. None of these people are getting forgiven for me. And, and I don't care what their situation is. I don't want to hear their story. They knew what they were doing was wrong. They knew it. Okay? So there is no forgiveness. And I don't, like I said, I, maybe it's, it's, it's regurgitating because I did see a couple of videos that were talking about this issue on YouTube. This, this, this issue is a very widespread, well-known issue, regardless of the fact that maybe it's not being covered by CNN or... Um, NBC, it's not getting covered by any of those news stations, and it really doesn't need to. There's too many people that got the attention. It's got too many people's attention, um, and, it, and it's been that way for quite a long time. Um, so it's not that we even need that news coverage, okay? But yeah, there's a lot of corruption that went on. A lot of corruption that went on. A lot of abuse towards an innocent person, i.e. me. And um, I'm doing what I can to... Uh, I'm doing what I can to get myself, um, you know, back together, get my head back on straight. And it's not, this has not been easy to do that. Um, and, and I, I will, I mean, some people don't realize exactly what, what a traumatizing thing that is for somebody to abuse a person in that manner and then have the cooperation of important people because they either do it through deceit. And if they didn't you do it through deceit and a person knew exactly what these people were doing, then these people are all goddamn just evil, plain, plain and simple. There is no excuse for what they did. So anyway, I needed to say that. Um, I've never been in a competition with Selena Bruce. I've never looked her up on the internet. Um, I will tell you, if I see any more signs of targeting, she will get a restraining order, and we will all be brought into court over this. I'm tired of playing the games. You know, um, I'm not interested in trying to compete against getting her uh, man from her or trying to be better than her. I'm 52 years old. I don't know how old she is. I'm thinking she's probably in her early 30s right, right now. When I met her and knew her, she was in her like early to mid-20s or something like that. There, there's no comparison. You know what I mean? Why would an older woman compete against somebody? Unless, of course, it's for a man. I'm not interested in that man. You know what I mean? I'm interested in getting on with my life. You know what I mean? And that's what I should be doing. So I'm going to wrap up this video. I've got plenty to do. I will be back with another video sometime later. I, I do want to give you updates on my new channel. There's a lot that I have to put into this because, you know, I want an intro. I want an outro, outro, intro, um, what do you call it? Intro and outro -duction. 
Um, I, uh, I don't have a problem with the content, but I also, I do have problems with like the presentation, like the whole overall thing. Um, that's what my biggest issue is, you know what I mean? And I do feel as though I put effort to try to change of course the direction before with the dark desert, the revival of the dark desert moon channel. Like I said, you know, these people did things to make me redouble my efforts. Um, I will say this one more time and I'm not going to say it again. Do not try to make any attempts to try to be my friend at this point. Meaning like if you feel like you did something wrong, then just get out of my way and stop bothering me. I don't want to have a relationship with you. Okay, it got to the point where I've told you so many times, knock it off, knock it off, knock it off. And the only time, the only thing that you would, the only thing that I would think at this point, that if you were to try to make an effort to come into my life now, is only because you're trying to cover your track. I will never look at you with anything other than suspicion. You cannot be trusted. I am deeming you as evil, and I am writing you off. It is for my own well-being. So, and I'm going to wrap up this video. Um, I've got things to do. And I will be back with another video later. Um, that is the update on my new channel right now. Um, as soon as it gets launched, um, you guys will probably know about it if you guys are interested in knowing more about it. Um, I did talk to, I mean, I did address the executives of YouTube, letting them know what was going on with my channel. Um, you know, and I'm hoping that things will get better because these people, what they put into place was for me to be reliant on them, to be dependent on them. And if I didn't, then, then, the, then the only alternative for me was to die, basically. And what these people did with the help of Steve Murray and all and Karen Johnson and all these other people was illegal and they should be ashamed of themselves. I'm going to wrap up this video. I will be back with another video sometime later. Take care.